Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm taking a break from the sewing and I'm going to be doing a summer fashion haul. I asked you guys on Snapchat if you would be interested in seeing some of the clothes I bought over summer and a lot of you guys said yes. So the way I'm going to be doing this is splitting it up into two parts. The first part is going to be clothes I bought that already fit and look cute. And then the second part of this video is going to be clothes I bought that just need a little bit of adjustments made to them. So I will be showing you guys how I make those quick fixes to clothes I buy so that they fit me better. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So this first item is from Forever 21 and it's this mustard colored lace dress and I just love how it looks when you layer different colors underneath and I've also just been obsessed with this color. Next I got this striped dress from Target and I really like that the straps are adjustable and I also like the neckline and I like that the skirt is flared out more so it's not hugging your body. Next, I got three things from PacSun because they're having a buy one get two free sale going on. So I bought this mustard top right here with cut out shoulders. And this top is from the Kendall and Kylie collection. So since I bought this top, I got two things for free. So I just decided to get two of the same style crop tops, just in different colors. So Abercrombie & Fitch was also having a huge sale and I picked up this tank top right here. And I really like it because it has this open back so I can show off my strappy bralettes. The next two things I got from Abercrombie are some flowy shorts and flowy shorts are just another thing I've been obsessing with over summer which is why I got a black pair from H&M and an orange pair from Forever 21. Moving on to shoes, I got these metallic sandals from Papaya because sometimes when you're wearing a plain outfit, you just need some metallic shoes to jazz it up. The next pair of shoes I got are from Zara and they're these fancy sparkly sandals right here. And I got them because I'm going to Vegas this weekend and I wanted to wear some sandals to the night clothes because I can't last in heels. So these are just gonna have to do. <laughs> So that wraps up the first part of the video. Now I'm going to be showing you guys clothes I bought that I need to make some alterations to. So the first item is this brown leather asymmetrical skirt I found from Savers. So originally the zipper sits more at the side, but I want to turn it to the front more and I also had to take in the waist to fit me better. To do this quickly, I tried taking it in from one of the darts and I did such a horrible job on it you guys, but it works and no one's gonna pay that much attention to it, so I'm fine with it. As you can see, I was trying to blend in the seam into the original dart, but because the skirt has a lining sewn underneath, it was hard for me to see where the dart was. Next, I got this brown A-line skirt from Zara, and it's a little bit big on me, but I got it because it was only $7. To make this skirt sit higher waisted, I'm going to take in from the side seams and just follow the straight edge as I sew. Next, I got this bodysuit from Dear Alice, and it says Bay on it. And they didn't have it in a size small, so I got it in a size medium anyways because it still looks okay. The only thing that is a little bit big is the bottom part right here where the buttons are. So I'm thinking about moving the buttons up a little higher so the bottom will be more fitted on me. The first thing I'm going to do is seam rip the buttons off. Then I measure how much I need to cut off and trim the rest away. 
So this ended up taking longer because I had to change the shape of the bottoms so that it'll match up with the buttons. I know you guys probably think I'm crazy for doing all this work just to fix this instead of getting a smaller size, but like I said, they didn't have my size and I plan on wearing this tomorrow. So I have to make it work. Once the legs are fixed, I can sew the buttons back on the way they were sewn. Lastly, I thrifted this super cute denim dress from Savers. The only thing I want to change is the collar. I don't really like how it looks like on, so I'm gonna try to see if I can seam rip it off. I personally would wear this more without the collar, so I'm going to seam rip it off. Then I just fold in the raw edges and top stitch it down. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more haul videos, let me know down in the comments. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!